What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some WWE action figures that are so accurate and so on point that it is kind of scary that it feels like you're literally holding a small, tiny replica of a real wrestler in the WWE. So yesterday, we covered the worst part choices by Mattel. Today, we're going to look at some of the stuff that they have done that is absolutely mind-blowing that makes you realize like, holy crap, this is incredible. This is amazing. This is why we love this hobby, and this is why we collect WWE action figure. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, guys, we have the Elite 64 John Cena. And while I don't really like this head scan that much, I think that everything else is pretty much perfect. I mean, this this head scan isn't the greatest. You could do a head swap that makes it even more accurate, but I did want to just keep it, you know, factory made like Mattel made it, but it includes You Can't See Me Hands, which is the first John Cena figure to include the You Can't See Me Hands. So I had to include it here. I love this figure to death, and while it's not my favorite attire he's ever worn, I think that it is a clear carbon copy of what he wore in real life, and with the You Can't See Me Hands, it really takes it over the top. Again, a head swap would make it a little bit more better, but uh, you can't deny this one. This one, this one is freaking beautiful. Next up, guys, we had to include the Elite Series 69, the brand new Elite Ricochet, guys. This figure is phenomenal. It is perfect from head to toe, and I think that this is going to be 2019 figure of the year. Easy. It's going to be up there. I mean, you can't even deny it. It looks identical to Ricochet. The body part choices, the arm choices, the torso, the, the, the everything from head to toe is absolutely perfect. I could not make this video without including this Elite Series 69 Ricochet. I mean, this head scan is phenomenal, and if you deny that this looks like Ricochet, you, you, you what are you, denying? In facts now this is this is a perfect figure from head to toe and you can't deny it it's literally a rep representation of ricochet in a figure and it looks fantastic i can't wait for this hopefully elite series 69 hits soon and you need to go pre-order this at ringside collectibles using promo code md toys to save yourself some money Next up is the Elite Series 64, my boy Seth Rollins, guys. This one is uncanny, this new TrueFX head scan here on the Elite Series 64. Look at this head scan. It looks just like Seth Rollins. And the Elite 64 and the Top Talents 2018 Seth Rollins, both of those figures are perfect representations of Seth Rollins. Um, one thing I will say about the head scan is I feel like it could be a bit more narrow in the cheeks or something, and that would probably make it absolute perfection. But this one is still just ridiculous. Look how much it resembles. Seth Rollins. You can compare the two pictures there, and it looks great. I hope that if we get a new Seth Rollins head scan, I hope that they make it a heel version. I'd love to see a pissed off Seth Rollins uh, um, with this, uh, you know, true effects technology. I think that that would be absolutely astronomical and incredible, but um, I do love the face head scan here with the smile. It's completely perfect to me, and I love it, so I had to include this one. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have one of my favorite wrestlers, Pete Dunne, here, and this one is so beautiful. The Target exclusive Elite Series 64, another Elite 64 figure in this line. I really love this one. I think it looks just like Pete Dunne. I love the smirk they gave him. I mean, if you repainted this head scan, maybe, you know, added a little bit of facial hair, maybe added some facial scars, and maybe uh, if the left eye was a little bit more open, you know, paint the, paint the mustache on there a little bit, and the lips up, yeah, I think this would be, I mean, I think your mind would probably explode with how beautiful it is, but this Pete Dunne figure looks great. It's one of my favorites to pose around. It's so beautiful, and it, it completely blows my mind every time I look at it. And it's it's mind-blowing because we actually have a Pete Dunn Elite. So this one had to go on here, another great figure by Mattel, and it's still a part of Elite Series 64, which is crazy. And the next one is also a part of Elite Series 64, guys, Samoa Joe. This is the reason that I think Elite Series 64 is one of the best lineups that we've ever had. Pete Dunn, Samoa Joe, Seth Rollins, John Cena. What a great lineup, and this Samoa Joe is no different. Looks just like Samoa Joe. The True Effects technology really takes these things over the top, not to mention them remolding the leg in red to make sure that you don't get that paint chip problem that we had with the Elite Series, what was it, Elite Series 43 Samoa Joe. Um, it took them 21 series to remake it, but they still got it out, and it's a lot better than the Elite 43, like a total upgrade and step up from that Samoa Joe. So this one had to go on here. I love Samoa Joe, and I love this figure, so I absolutely had to include it here. Next up, guys, we have Bray Wyatt, the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt. I really do enjoy this figure. I wish I could pose it around a little bit more. I do have it, but in the pick fed, you know, he hasn't made too much noise yet. Maybe that will change very soon. Who knows? We'll have to see on Vindication episode number 13. But Bray Wyatt looks great, and I love this figure. It looks just like him in the face. I mean, look at him. He, he looks that you got that crazed look in his eye. You have just a bunch of great stuff going on with this uh, this Bray Wyatt Elite figure. And um, when they first showed the promo pictures, I was 
was super excited for it, and it totally, you know, uh, it lived up to the expectation once it released. And we're also getting that new Bray Wyatt in the epic moments, you know, uh, Ultimate Deletion with Matt Hardy. So I'm super excited for that one with the red pants. Can't wait to, you know, see what those look like up next to each other with the true effects and everything. Because this, I don't even know, this one, uh, this one does have true effects. I, I don't even know, but had to include this Bray Wyatt figure. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have Elite Series 63 Shinsuke Nakamura, and this one, this one's sort of disappointing because it totally shelf warms, guys. You go to any Walmart across the nation right now, this Elite Series 63 Shinsuke Nakamura is probably going to be on the shelf, and it's so sad to see because it's such a good figure. I mean, it's literally a perfect representation of Shinsuke from head to toe. I love the smirking face. It looks just like Shinsuke. Um, I couldn't find any good pictures of him in the attire he's wearing with the jacket, so I apologize for that, but it looks just like Shinsuke. And anybody will tell you that this is the best Nakamura they've made, and this is probably one of the best head scans that Mattel has made. That true, true effects technology really is, I know we've said it a bunch of times in the video, but it really is making these figures go to the next level, and they're just, just unconsciously killing it with these figures. Next up, we have Elite Series 68, Daniel Bryan, and I really do enjoy this figure a lot. I love that we get the yes hands. That really makes it a lot better, and then we get the, the smiling head scan looks great. The Seattle Seahawks inspired gear looks great. I don't remember it being this royal blue. I will say the Elite Series 68 color isn't the best, but it does look just like Daniel Bryan when he first returned. He was a baby face, you know, uh, smiling all the time. I know he's a heel now, and he's probably one of the best heels in WWE at the moment, and hopefully we get an updated heel Daniel Bryan, but this figure is uncanny. Again, just like all the other figures in this video, guys, we're probably going to have to make more videos on this. I would love to know some figures that blow your mind down in the comment section below because I want to make this into a series where we take a look at all the best figures Mattel has made and how they just... they blow your mind every damn time you look at him. I mean, my lord, this Daniel Bryan is no different, and I had to include it here in the video. So there is Daniel Bryan, Elite Series 68. And our final figure that we're going to take a look at here today, guys, is the Elite 6, I think, or Elite, uh, I can't remember the Elite, maybe Elite 11, John Morrison. This one is really nice. I love this figure to death in the gray, and uh, it looks just like him. I mean, I know the figure doesn't have the elbow pads on it, but it does, uh, I think it does include elbow pads. I'm not sure if they took them off or something, but they're easy to throw on there. And they look, it, it looks just like John Morrison. I mean, it's a perfect figure. John Morrison, one of my favorite talents in the world. He's just so super underrated. He's been everywhere. He's been to Lucha Underground. He's been in the Indies. He's been in WWE. I mean, this man does it all. He's super freak athletic. He looks great. And uh, I think Mattel did a fantastic job replicating it. We've gotten two elite John Morrisons, I do believe. If you Three, if you include the variant with the different color coat. I'm not throwing that in because it's basically Elite Four um, remade there with the, uh, you know, the different, just, it's just a different uh, trench coat color. But this John Morrison is just beautiful. It's perfect. It's fun to pose around. And um, it will blow your mind when you look at it. So if you don't have it, I think it goes for uh, actually a pretty good amount of money. I think it goes for 20 to 30 maybe even 40 bucks on eBay considering he's not with the company anymore. You know, any guys that come and leave, their figures go up in price because they're not going to be made anymore. So they're in limited quantity. And, you know, the same thing happened with CM Punk. The same thing happened with a lot of guys. I mean, I'm sure Neville's figures are increasing. Um... Uh, freaking Dean Ambrose's figures are going to go up. I'm, su I'm sure Luke Harper's are going to go up. TJP, guys like that, their figures go up in price because they leave the company and obviously... Uh, their figures won't be made anymore, and so they, they increase in price, you know, inflation and all that good stuff. But um, that pretty much does it for all the figures I have to show you guys here today as far as the figures that will blow your mind. Um, they, I mean, if you disagree with any of these, I would love to know down in the comment section below. But I also want to know down below what figures you guys really enjoy and what figures aren't on this list that you think should be. Any figures that just blow your mind when you look at them, it's like, holy crap, that is literally Seth Rollins on my shelf. Or, oh my god, that looks just like Roman Reigns except he is a figure on my shelf. So uh, th those are the figures that I want to include here in these videos. So if you guys have any of those recommendations, even a, a female figure that could go on this list or any of those, uh, maybe the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey probably should have went on here. I think that sh her figure there is absolutely fantastic freaking incredible so we definitely need to get that ultimate edition ronda rousey in the next video for sure and we'll compare pictures and stuff of that nature there's some other i mean that nia Jax figure i know it looks just like nia Jax, 
Um, I'm not a big fan of Nia Jax, but I think that uh, the, the Elite 65 Nia Jax could probably go in one of these videos. So if you guys have any of those recommendations, you have any of that stuff, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm going to have uh, Vindication episode number 13 out in the next few days, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Follow up to the MDT Royal Rumble. We're going to see where these storylines go, and we're going to get a lot of feedback on what you guys think of the new format and stuff like that. If it sucks... We will be going back to the other way, and that'll be no problem. So all you have to do is let me know down in the comment section below. But that will pretty much do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, comment down below if you have any recommendations for future WWE figure videos or uh, figures that blow your mind. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.